Kaibigan, in today's edition, ang ating uh, tatalakayan is Palm Works and Concrete Slab. Okay, kinupit po natin yung cost ng ating uh, putting and column. I-recap po natin yan. Okay, last time, nakuha po natin ang cost po ng uh, putting and column is 7,486. So, nagkaroon po ako ng adjustment po ng plus 56. So, ang total cost po ng ating putting and column is 7,542. Yung real cost po ng uh, column is 1,118. Whereas, yung ipinakita is 1,062. So, nagkaroon po ako ng price adjustment po ng 56. So, the total cost po ng putting and column is 7,542 inclusive po yan yung uh, building layout okay site clearing excavation painting of the column using the damp proofing paint and then the barrel up okay and doon na po lahat yan so the real cost now one uh, single structure of putting and column is 7,542 okay kung uh, meron pa yung dagdag cost okay ati pong tatalakayan yan okay, mga kaibigan balik po tayo okay ako po yung nagdrawing yung sa lot yung aking pinakita na lot yun po yung ating uh, model okay so nagdrawing po ako dito sa aking whiteboard a lot representing the 100 square meter lot okay ang aking uh, ito yung nawing na rin po, itong column, mayroon po tayong 9 putting and column. Okay, nakatayo na po sila. Okay, alamin po natin yung additional cost doon sa putting and column. Okay, so nakuha po natin ang total cost ko ng column kanina. Okay, materialis is 7,542. Yan po, okay, Material, materials cost only. And then, kung sasamaan po natin yan ng... Uh, ng labor, okay, yung carpenter and skill para po lagyan po yan ng uh, ng uh, foam work and then buhusan po ng concrete so magkakaroon po tayo dito ng 3,000 cost para po sa labor so ang total cost po natin is 10,542 and then meron po tayo ng 400, itong 400 na to is yung sa labor na mag apply po ng damp proofing paint sa ating footing and column 400 So, ipinasok po natin doon. So, 400. And then, sa back peeling, okay, ito na po yung mga column, putting in column, is nakatayo na po yan. So, back peeling po natin yan. Okay, after na mapinturan, okay, ready for back peeling. So, sa back peeling and compunction, kailangan po natin ng dalawang labor, and then by two days work. Okay, 400 pesos ang cost per labor, so 400 times 2, Dalawang labor po yan, and then dalawang araw po nilang gagawin. So, meron po tayong total cost na 1,600. Okay? I-divide natin po yan ng 9 column para makuha po natin yung cost per column. So, 178. Okay? So, itinagdag po natin doon sa 10,542 of the cost of the column at saka footing. 400 plus 178, so meron po tayong total cost na 11,120 for a single column only. So, kung tayo mag-examine po ng uh, ating bahay, so uh, meron po tayong uh, preliminary, preliminary cost, cost uh, per unit, 11,120 ang ating 
per column. Okay, let's say ang ating column is 1 by 1 by 50 centimeter ang lalim. And then the uh, column is 30 by 40 by 22.6 meter ang taas. So the construction of a single structure putting and column will cost us 11,120. Incli inclusive po yan sa labor and material. So, andyan na po lahat. So, 11,120. Yung nilagay ko po rito yung column sa gitna, this one, is dapat po yung nakadesign po yan o naka-include po yan sa design, is either dito is magkakaroon po yan ng wall. Ito kasi additional reinforcement para po sa asalaw doon sa isla. Balimbawa, mahaba po ang in between the column and the column here and the column here at least meron po tayong sasalo po rito sa gitna this one uh, should represent in the should be represented in the drawing is either magkakaroon po dito ng wall okay wall is either dito yung uh, let's say reception area meron po tayo dito yung concrete wall para justified po yung column po dito sa gitna ng inyong kabahayan Okay po, the height of the column, okay, yung kanyang top, okay, assuming this is the 2.6, okay, dyan po ang ating termination point, dyan po tayo mag start po ng first floor slab, okay, kung dalawang palabag po ang ating bahay, dito po magsisimula at 2.6 level, okay, yan 2.6 na yan is dito po yan magagaling, okay, yan, ito po yung pinakatop, Okay, top ng concrete slab sa ground floor. Dito po siya mag-start ng 2.6. Okay? Dito po siya mag-start. Para yung ating ceiling slab is 2.6 below the slab at saka dito sa top of slab in the ground floor. Ngayon, kung ang uh, gusto po natin is mas mataas po yung vertical clearance from the ground floor slab, up to the ceiling slab is mag-adjust alam po kayo ng height of the concrete column. Okay? Kayo lang po mag-adjust po yan. Okay? Okay, the height of the column is dito po tayo mag-start dito po sa top of the ground floor slab. So, magkakaroon po tayo ng adjustment na 55 cm. Kukunin po natin itong thickness of the concrete slab sa ground floor which is, uh, should be natin 15 cm. And then the depth of the uh, putting is 50, assuming this is 90, okay. So, from the uh, top of the uh, ground floor slab is magkakaroon po tayo ng cost adjustment sa height of the column na 15 plus 40. Kasi hindi po natin isama yung uh, height of the column which is to be buried on the ground. So, meron po tayong adjustment na cost of the column na 55 centimeter okay so the uh, perimeter of the column is 430 pesos so times 0.55 okay so we have 237 okay so we add po natin yan doon sa ating initial computation okay 400 plus 178 plus 237 so the total cost of the column and footing is 11,357 uh, yan po ang uh, cost po ng footing and the column. Okay, finalize po natin ang cost ng uh, footing and the column. Okay, from our computation is ang cost po ng footing and column. Kasama na po lahat yan, yung labor, site preparation, pintura, burlap, building layout. So, nakuha po natin is 11,357. So, we have here 9 footing and column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, okay, we have nine column sa ating pong gagawin pong bahay. As a model, yung pinakita ko lote kanina. So, tulad ng sinabi ko, yung uh, putting and column sa gitna is dapat po yan nakadesign po sa ating architectural na from here, this column or the, put, or the column is dapat po magkakaroon po yun ng wall dito. Is either ito po yung ating uh, reception, so meron po tayo ng concrete wall dito para ma-justify po natin yung ating center column okay so we have the putting column is uh, nine pieces po sila so nine times eleven thousand three hundred fifty seven okay that is the unit cost per putting and column so ang ating total cost 
para po sa initial erection po ng ating putting and column is 102,213. So, yan lang po sa initial start natin. So, magkakaroon po kayo ng cost na 102,213. Okay po mga ikibigan. Okay, nakatayo na po yung putting and column. Nabackfill na po natin siya. Then, nakakompact. Okay. So, nagarep na po tayo sa... 102,213 ang ating total cost including the compaction, backfilling Okay, ang susunod nating uh, tatalakayan on my next video dahil medyo mahaba pong ating talakayan is yung pag-compete po ng form work ito sa ating kabayan Okay, dudugtong natin siya dito sa top po ng column Okay, ito, pina, ito yung pinakatupo yung sisipo niya dito tayo magisimula ng ating first floor slab so dito magkalagay po tayo ng pore works para mabuhosan po itong concrete slab so sa initial balang is nagkaroon ng kagad tayo ng 102,213 pesos initial cost sa pag i lang po yan ng putting and column okay sa next video natin is uh, gagawin natin itong part 1 and 2 Okay, so in this uh, next video, part 2 is tatalakayan natin yung pag po ng four works dito, including the concrete pouring dito sa ating first floor slab. Thank you very much. Super watching. Please subscribe.